All right, so if you're newer to owning an outboard motor, some small setup like this, or similar size, you might, um, you know, want to test it out of water before you put it on the water. So you get some buffs, put them on there, go over to fire it up. All right, so you fire it up, there's no water coming out of the back and you might be panicked and think either one, the pump's not working in here or this is this is clogged. So you can take like a weed whacker uh, string and just clear that hole. And then next you might take this lower off and you know, take apart the pump, which I did. And in this case, yes, this did need to be replaced, but it still had the ability to put a little bit of water. But yes, this is over, way overdue to be replaced. So I replaced that, and still no water coming out. So and while I had the lower off, I was able to force air, compressed air, all the way up through, and it was coming out. So I was baffled at first, and then started watching this, which I had on there originally. There was a ton of water loss. See with this one, we're still losing a decent amount of water. Try to position it so it's lo losing the least amount of water possible. And let's try it again. test your motor out and don't see the water cycling through the system like it should. Um, don't panic. Make sure you got the right attachment on. And if you do have to look, take the lower unit off. In this case, this Honda is one, two, and there's two on the other side. And right there. It's actually a pretty simple job to replace the impeller if it is time to do that. But all that to say, make sure you have enough water supply when you're testing the engine out of the water.